the story of the best Russian singles player who almost ended his career due to a serious illness. Now Kondratyuk is the best single player in Russia, but only two years ago few people knew about him. Then Mark was thinking of ending his career and could not even imagine himself in the Russian national team. And last season he was the first number one to go to the Olympic Games and won silver. His story is amazing, and he himself is unique. Kondratyuk was born on September 3, 2003 in Podolsk. Very little is known about his early childhood. However, the fact that Mark connected his life with sports was influenced by his family. In particular, the grandfather of the figure skater, who was a master of sports, instilled diligence in his grandson. Grandfather was engaged in skiing, was a master of sports. He helped me when I started figure skating. Grandpa didn't know much about this sport, but he understood what a top-level sport was. I remember one of his advice, it is not always necessary and necessary to work at the maximum. Sometimes you have to let go of yourself, take a break to gain strength and work on. It sounds corny, but it seems to me that this is good advice, Kondratyuk told FFKKR. Kondratyuk was given to sports by his mother. As it is known from the information on Mark's official page on social networks, he was put on ice at the age of two and a half years. Even though he was afraid to skate. Mom somehow decided to immediately send me to the sport, well, I followed this line and went. And with the older brother, the parents were having fun in terms of schools. I don't even remember the moment when it was decided that I should focus on skating. The only thing I remember is that I was afraid to skate. And at the age of four, he was already skiing in a straight line without fear at all, leads sports.ru the words of a figure skater. The first coach of the figure skater was Lyudmila Sapronova. In 2013 Kondratyuk joined Stanislav Zhuk's group. And only in 2016 he got to CSKA, under the caring wing of Svetlana Sokolovskaya. However, at first Mark did not shine. I remember when I first came to CSKA, I was about 10 years old, and I was immediately announced for some competitions, I fell six times, beautifully rolled away. But I was told, good boy, we'll take it. And they took it, Kondratyuk told FFKKR. He had no special thoughts about a figure skater's career. According to Mark, after the transition, he just enjoyed riding. At that time, I just went for a ride, nothing more. Now I look at the children who train at CSKA, everyone is so motivated, everyone has specific goals. And I, in general, did not think about it at the age of 10. Just went with the flow. And if I was asked a question about goals, I probably wouldn't be able to formulate it clearly," Kondratyuk said. All this time, Mark was unstable. He could either enter the top three or completely fail. And for a long time there was no stability in his skating. But suddenly in 2020 everything changed, when in the 2020-21 season Kondratyuk suddenly loudly declared himself. Even before the figure skater declared himself, he had a very difficult test. At the age of 13, Mark had serious health problems, he was diagnosed with osgood schlatter disease. This pathology is expressed in inflammation just below the knee in the area of bone growth, where the tendon from the patella is attached to the tibia. With heavy physical exertion or sports, the tendon is overloaded at the junction with the bone. My knees started to hurt a lot, Schlatter's disease. Many boys have this problem. And, in fact, I missed two seasons. One completely, did not even write at all. And the second one, well, so, I tried something quite slowly, the figure skater said in an interview Olympics.com. As a result, Mark even thought about ending his career. This was told by figure skater Georgi Kanitsa, who was in the same group with Kondratyuk. We go after the competition, we discuss our future, the fact that children are already jumping around, they are ahead of us. And he thought about almost finishing. Another season, and quit, go to study, said the Martin to Sport Express. However, Mark did not leave. And two years later he became the leader of the Russian national team. In the 2020-21 season, Mark won bronze at the Russian championship. Then there were only two quotas, so the skater did not even claim the world and European championships. The athlete was most concerned about the exhibition. 
Mark was better known to the general public as an artist than a figure skater. Kondratyuk published his works on social networks. However, he was not going to develop further and become an artist, this is just a hobby. As a child, I went to a drawing circle but consciously began to study and try it myself. My older brother collects a collection of Russian contemporary art. Coincidentally, I started drawing, he became interested in collecting. Perhaps this also played a certain role, because my brother learned a lot of interesting things, read, told me about directions, art. But I don't pretend to be an artist. I draw for myself. It's a hobby for me. No more than that, said Mark FFKKR. After the bronze medal at the national championship, Kondratyuk became a reserve in the national team. And then I received an invitation to an experimental tournament, the Channel One Cup. And that's where he made a splash. But that was just the beginning. After the phenomenal skating of the figure skater, the fans even demanded to send Mark to the world championship. But the third quota for Russia and Sweden was obtained by Mikhail Kolyata and Evgeny Semenenko. Kondratyuk was entrusted with confirming this quota in September 2021. After the short program, Mark was fifth and received a lot of skepticism in his address. But he took the final third place and completed the task. By the way, the skater did not start the season in the adult division yet. He performed at the control rentals of both juniors and adults. Kondratyuk was also announced for the stages of the Junior Grand Prix series, but could not perform at them due to visa problems. Later in his career, the swings began again, the eighth place at the Grand Prix stage in Russia and the second place at the Dennis 10 Memorial. Probably, even Mark himself will not be able to explain how this can be. But then the real magic began, Kondratyuk won the Russian and European championships. And I went to Beijing as the first number. A man who, a couple of months before the Olympics, did not even dream of getting into the national team. At the Olympic Games, Mark gave his all, taking third and second places in the short and free rentals in the team tournament and thereby contributed to the overall team gold. Alas, it was not enough for a personal tournament. The Olympic atmosphere captured him completely, he enjoyed every day and supported our athletes with all his might. Kondratyuk's coach Svetlana Sokolovskaya noted in an interview with SPORT24 after the games that she should have restrained her student, disciplined him properly. But seeing his burning eyes, she just couldn't lock him in the room. What can I say now? And now Mark will enter the upcoming season as the real leader of the Russian men's singles. At the Channel One Cup, he surpassed himself last year. He demonstrated a crazy 4-4 cascade, a restored quadruple Lutz and just himself, almost the same as a year ago. Crazy, happy, joyful, but already in the status of an Olympic champion. Kondratyuk's life turned upside down in a year. Now we have titles and the status of a leader behind us. And next to her is a beautiful girl Alexandra Trusova. Their relationship became known quite recently. Obviously, the figure skater makes him happy and she is able to motivate him to do more. Recently, Mark announced his desire to jump five fours in an arbitrary program. Now it is quite obvious where Kondratyuk got this desire from. However, the figure skater has already performed four fours at the same Channel One Cup. The fifth jump is a matter of time for such a talented athlete. Now Mark will also have to face pressure from the new status, titles, because expectations from him will obviously be much higher than before. But he was already a bright flash in the world of Russian figure skating. And how long he will shine will be decided by the skater himself. After all, the main thing is that he is healthy and happy.